the most interesting part of the album is like instead of you know just because you know you you have these issues you have this past it doesn't mean that you can't work through it it doesn't mean that your partner is the problem it doesn't mean that you should break up and be like oh okay. you're toxic let me give you a c chord <laughs> right? you know what i mean like how many <laughs> people heard that they're sick of it right right like people are sick yeah. and tired of artists saying fuck the music industry right so it's all about like taking those things that have been done before but trying to put a twist on them that gives a little bit of freshness to them because there's this vacuum in the industry right now where nobody's trying to be that next big band. Nobody's trying to be the next killers. Everybody's just trying to rip off of trends that are hot, like Youngblood or MGK. They're, just, they're right. going like, oh, we do that and then imitate them. And then maybe they get signed for a few years and then dropped. Right. And that's mm -hmm. the mentality, but nobody's really like trying I think to establish. I, I think it sucks to try to imitate someone. Like if you just cause someone else is good, it's cause they're good at their own thing. Like do your own fucking thing. Do you like, yeah. Your, and that's, that's when you start to, to, to get something is when you stop focusing on what everybody else is doing. Yeah. When you focus on what's working for you and you triple down on it and you focus on that. You don't focus on the fact that there's this kid from Ohio that rips off young blood that, you know, got signed to Atlantic records with one single and then probably dropped the next year. Right. You don't focus on that. You focus right. on you. Right? Yeah, because, right. <laughs> if you were to focus on that, then yeah, then you fall into the the mindset where you see a lot of artists that go online like, oh, the music industry sucks, right? You know, like you don't yeah. want to be honest people, right? And, and um, you guys, you got Emerson definitely has uh, an original sound for your kind of alternative, kind of a little bit pop in there. Sam says, Sebastian shaking my head. I probably <laughs> asked a question I should have known the answer to. <laughs> probably where that came from. So, <laughs> thanks, uh, Sam. Love you too, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to what we were talking about, sometimes I get too paranoid that what I write sounds like a song that I've heard, you know? Like <laughs> You want that, though. You want people to, to, to think that, but you don't want them to be like, for example, uh, Olivia Rodrigo put out a song that sounds identical to Misery Business. You don't want to be that that much. Of a right. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to be I just, the paranoia is a little, a little too much, you know? Because <laughs> you're an artist but, and we're hard on ourselves. Yeah, the, true uh, that. He was thinking his head about the the album title. I said it, but I knew that was the name. I was trying to get you to explain it, right? That's what we were right. trying to do. Okay, that's your job. Right. <laughs> that's right. That's just my job. All right, let's let's play your new song, "More Than a Friend." Right now, I want to I want to show everyone uh, this song, and then I want to talk about the video, talk about the song, and talk about what you got coming on soon with tours and whatever. So let's play it right now. This is "More Than a Friend," right? With Animal Sun? Yeah. All right, here we go.
dance then would you stay and take me up on a chance and she said oh baby you lost your head you know i never wanted to be more than such a cool song it is it's very original the music video is original man i like i like your stage presence for you jumping around with your hair bopping around <laughs> it, it looks cool dude i'm sold i'm sold on it sam at did first, oh, what? Sorry. What no, at first i was gonna say uh you look a lot different in that music video. <laughs> oh yeah with the, with the, with the, the short hair sam, sam says that no not that one that's sharon says top 40 here we come uh but sam says talk about OC show July 9th. No, Sam, we will not talk about it. <laughs> I, thought Sam, I thought Sam was tired. And he wasn't gonna, yeah, right? Now he's, now he's watching. Now he's watching. <laughs> we, we have a show coming up um, uh, July 8th um, at uh, La Santa, which is in Anaheim. It's about 25 minutes from LA. So before you people say, oh, that's too far. You, know, you drive to work and it's farther. All right, so you're, you're, it's by Disneyland. If you hear, if you hear us on K Rock, or you know you're a fan of the band and you're in the LA area, we'll, we'll, we'll be able to meet you guys July eighth, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll take your photos, autographs, give out free merch, whatever it is. Just come watch the show. Come on, you haven't seen live music in a year. Like, do you really want to pass up this opportunity? What if what if COVID gets worse in a few months? Like, come see live music. Right? Get your boob signed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Boob <laughs> sign, eight, eighteen plus show. As Sam. <laughs> <laughs> perfect <laughs> timing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We put eighteen plus. You were eighteen plus, and then Ava said, "It was like get your boob signed." <laughs> Bring your ID. Get your boob signed. <laughs> So you wanted to, you got some questions on the album or the music video? Like what's, what's good? Yeah, there? no, I was, I was, well, was going to ask you since you brought up, uh, since you brought, just brought that up. I do want to say you guys haven't been able to play shows. So this is going to be your first, this is your first show yep. in over a year, right? Yeah. Besides the live stream, that was, it's it, man. Uh, so stoked. And then we're playing the OC fair, I believe the following weekend, which is a, you know, uh, yeah. I think we're playing, we're headlining like the side stage. I know there's like a main stage with like huge bands there. And then we're, we're headlining like the main side stage. Um, and then we'll be going, you know, coast to coast in the fall, hitting all the cities, finally able to play for these people that have been listening to us all over and never thought they were going to get an animal sun show are now going to get one. And you know what? I got it. I think I said it on the last show. Go, go ahead, Ava. I'll, I'll wait to. I'll wait to. I'm long. just making sure he doesn't have to leave because it's almost. Oh yeah. Time. What time is it? Oh, it's you got to get going, time. huh? Oh, it's uh, yeah. It's soonish, but you know we can talk a little bit longer. I just okay. want. Okay, we'll wrap this up. I do want to say though that freaking name, Animal Sun. That is like the coolest name yeah. I think for like for a, a band. Like Animal Sun just sounds. It just sounds cool. I like <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah. man. How uh, you guys go? go ahead, Ava. I wanted to ask uh, what the writing process is like for your band. Uh, like, does someone have, is there just one idea guy or is it like everyone comes in together? Chocolate uh, in a wine glass. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. to the girl in blue video, Nico. We went to high school together. Nice. It's nice. good, good, good to see you in the chat, man. Um, no, uh, so uh, the writing process. I mean, it starts with me and acoustic guitar. Um I write about experiences between, you know, with people in the band or me or just in life in general. And then um, it gets taken to the studio with their producer. Um, I'm not saying we work with just one producer. We have like one main guy and then we work with other people too. And uh, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron Zeus Cepeda, he goes by Zeus, uh, like, we'll take what we, you know, what I did and then we'll like deconstruct it. And we'll kind of like start from scratch, but with the core idea 
and then uh, you know he'll help filter my thoughts into uh, something that makes sense. And then the guys will come in, and then they go, "Oh, I hear this melody. Oh, I hear this part. Like, oh, I like this lyric, right?" And then it will kind of come together like that. A lot of the rhythm drives the songs on the record. Like Will's drumming is so essential to how the songs come together. Like mm -hmm. just the overall, like rhythmically, right? That I, like the bass and the drum, the beat. They they're good. Thank you for giving credit to the bass player and the drummer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We appreciate that. If you listen to our songs, the freaking the percussion, the percussion and the bass are very forward, and then you have synths and stuff to fill in the atmosphere. Like, there's almost there's a guitar solo on like half the songs on the album, which I feel like is that killer's influence that comes through on me, or the Strokes, or bands you know like the Pumpkins from the '90s that like I grew up listening to. So like when you hear songs like Touch. You know, you hear like a lot of like that classic killers like synth with their, you know, guitar solo or something you hear off of like Hot Fuss, right? Or something, right? Okay. That's on like half of the album. You know, like, it, like there's like four or five songs out of the eight which have like a guitar solo in it. But it sounds like super synth pop. Like they're yeah. like <laughs> the same you, song. You shred on the guitar on when you went to that, on that live. Uh that live stream on Saturday, I watched some of it. I was with my buddy Steven, who was on the live feed earlier. We tuned in, and I was like, damn, you're getting down, dude. You're like, I can't play guitar, but I can't, I can't even play air guitar, okay? I can't, I can't, I can't play. I don't know. Come on. Um, <laughs> on, uh, uh, I think it was probably Thunder you watched. I keep calling it Yes. Thunder. Everybody's going to, it's, can you hear the thunder? But I yeah, just can you hear the thunder? Over. I don't want to say all the words, you know? So I, <laughs> yeah, the thunder song. The thunder one. Not, not the Imagine Dragons song. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lightning and the thunder. I can't sing either. <laughs> I can't even air sing for that matter. <laughs> all right. I, do, I, don't, I know you do have to go. I don't want to keep you too long. I want everyone to know where can they go buy some merchandise from you. And if there's anything you want to cover that we didn't ask, um, go ahead and, and let it out now. Uh, stream the album for the love of God. Stream it, buy it, tell your friends, annoy your family line, get fired from work because you're playing it so much. <laughs> like literally just buy the shit, stream the shit out of that album, please, for the love of God. Um, also go to animalsonofficial.net, order merch. All that stuff is made uh, you know, with Shopify, so it's like very high quality and it'll be delivered to your doorstep in a matter of days, right? It's about getting... Uh, uh, getting the band out there right now. Um, we have a tour coming up this fall, so keep an eye out for those dates. Cannot wait to play in your city. And yeah, hope you guys are enjoying the album. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yeah, I want to thank both of you for, we had some issues earlier. We did it an hour later, so thank you so much, Stephen and Ava, for taking time out of your, out of your evening uh, to come do this. I guess that's all we got. Go to www.theloudspot.net. Uh, we got some merch on there also, and you can also listen to all of our previous shows on our website. Check out our YouTube channel. Check out Animal Sun. Check out Ava's band, Weird Wolves. And if you, hey, and Stephen, by the way, stay right there. Don't leave just quite yet. We're about to play the outro song. Let me just, I always got a problem finding it. And, okay. and, unless you're on a time crunch. Unless you're on a time limit, you can go. <laughs> you got to go? Uh. 